Last week Thursday around 1 a.m. a scary incident here in our community out at Pine Lake Park. A vehicle was found on site after hours. Of course, our parks all close after sundown across our community through the West Bloomfield Parks Network. And so when an officer was on regular patrol and saw a vehicle on site at Pine Lake Park, they, of course, investigated and upon doing so found a couple of individuals on site at the park. Uh, and, and went and investigated further. It turns out that that ended up being an alleged criminal sexual conduct situation involving a minor here in our community. The suspect was then apprehended and charged with three counts of criminal sexual conduct. Here to join us to talk about this, uh, about this incident here in our community is the Deputy Police Chief of the West Bloomfield Police Department and their Public Information Officer, Dale Young. Thank you for being with us, Deputy Chief. Yes, good morning. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, ha happy to have you on to talk uh, uh, to p talk about this and, and clear this up for the community because uh, the suspect has been apprehended, a 25-year-old male uh, that was not from within West Bloomville. It was someone from outside of our community. Take us through what happened and and uh, how your your department ultimately brought this pr this alleged criminal in. Yes, thank you, Tyler. So um, as you mentioned, this incident occurred on the early morning hours of Thursday, August 15th, 2024. That's when we had uh, one of our midnight officers was on routine patrol in one of our closed parks located at 3333 West Long Lake Road. And while patrolling, observed a parked vehicle and saw two individuals nearby. So after doing that investigation, he learned that um, an adult male had just engaged in alleged criminal sexual conduct with a minor female child. And shortly thereafter, that individual was placed under arrest and taken into custody. Later, uh, they were charged with three counts of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. And that was on Friday, August the 16th. And they were issued a $3 million bond and lodged in the Oakland County Jail. The uh, suspect is a Joshua Charston Brown Hill, 25 year old Detroit resident. And Tyler, at this time, I want to make sure that uh, everyone understands that individuals described as being suspects, being wanted, or having been arrested are presumed innocent until a finding of guilt beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. Of course, and th this is an open investigation at this time. The, the, the alleged is in custody in the Oakland County Jail awaiting that trial following that arraignment with the $3 million bond uh, being, put, being put up as well on Friday after that arraignment. But Deputy Chief, this brings up an important topic this time to you because at this time, you know, this incident has been, for, for better or for worse, resolved in, in terms of the information that we know and, and any threat that, w that may be out there to the public. But in a general sense, we're heading back to school. Our kids are going to be back out and about, very busy this time of the year and around a lot of other people, including around adults. So as we take into context what happened here and what we know about what happened here, how should parents address this situation as a learning experience for their kids and even amongst themselves as parents? Yes, Tyler. Um, one of the things I want to reiterate what you said there is that there, there is no danger to the public and our parks are safe. Yeah. And as we are returning back to school, I think this is a great reminder for uh, parents to go back to the fundamentals. And some of those fundamentals of keeping kids safe is having an open dialogue with their kids about everything in their life. Know who they're talking with on the phone, over the internet, and in person. Know where they are and who they're with. And seek help and guidance. There are a number of great resources available, such as the West Bloomfield School District under their parents tab if you go to safety and well-being, there is a variety of resources for parents. I would also highly recommend checking out the Greater West Bloomfield Community Coalition and also the parentguidance.org website. These are just some of the resources that are available. Yeah, and these are great resources that can provide information on talking to your kids about these issues, uh, on addressing some of these issues, on setting some of those boundaries. You mentioned the Greater West Bloomfield Community Coalition. That's gwbcoalition.org for more information. You can also find them 
uh, on, uh, on social media like Facebook as well. We will have plenty more information and events throughout the year for helpful information on this and other topics. But you know, we're lucky in our community that this is incredibly uncommon that we have an incident like this in Greater West Bloomfield, whether it's in West Bloomfield Township or our neighboring Tri-Cities communities that we also cover here. But that doesn't mean that these incidents don't happen or can't develop and maybe even come close to having an incident like we had at Pine Lake Park last week. So in your experience, in the police department's experience, especially today, how do these situations typically develop? What should we be looking out for as a potential danger that could put our kids in harm's way? Well, Tyler, a lot of the fundamental things that I mentioned previously are things that parents can do. However, I will say that there are times that parents do everything that they can and unfortunate situations like this may still occur. And I'd like to say that if that happens, that they should call the police for help. And if it's an active emergency to call 911, if the situation is not active to call the non-emergency phone number at 248-975-9200. Yeah, and, and it's good to get that information from our police department and, and to give that information, too. If you have some information on incidents that may be of concern, even if it's something that's just a little bit suspicious, and when you're out in the community, you know, we want to be thinking about, of course, our kids and our families, but we want to be looking out for others also. We mentioned going back to school and being on these school activities. You know, a lot of times... There are people that, and there's that element of stranger danger, but it's also people that we're familiar with that can also be the perpetrators of these sorts of criminal, uh, criminal incidents, Dale. And so and what should people be doing if they, if, they do, if they do have these suspicions? How do they take that to that next level where they report it or where they you know, address that issue without you know, potentially putting themselves or that child in harm? Sure. So there's a variety of ways that they can make these police reports. One is to call us and we'll come out to their home and we'll take that police report there. If they do not feel comfortable with that, then they can come to our police department, which is open 24 seven, and we can take the police report uh, at that location, as well as develop a safety plan with the the parent and the child. And that's always gonna vary depending on what variables are at play. We're joined by Dale Young. He is the Deputy Police Chief and the Public Information Officer with the West Bloomfield Township Police Department as we talk about an incident that happened last week Thursday around 1 a.m. where a suspect was apprehended at Pine Lake Park after an alleged three counts of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. He is being held at this time, a 25-year-old male from outside of our community being held at the Oakland County Jail. Deputy Chief, as we think about the modern context of our times and our kids and, and the scenarios that they're in, how much of an impact has the web had in these incidents becoming not necessarily more common, but maybe easier for our kids to get into some of these difficult situations that could be potentially harmful? Yes. So the Internet is fantastic for bringing all sorts of information to our fingertips. Uh, but unfortunately, with that comes uh, a lot more access to the to our kids. And so I cannot reiterate enough how important it is that parents set up boundaries, that they know exactly what the their children are looking at and who they're talking to online. More information from the West Bloomfield Police Department on this and other cases across our community as that information comes through can be found on Facebook at West Bloomfield PD. And you can also find more, more information on getting in contact with our police department if you have uh, some questions or you want to get some advice at wbtownship.org. Deputy Chief, before we let you go, anything else that we should know about this situation or be keeping in mind as we reflect on what happened in our community? The main message I want to get out right now is, again, that the parks are safe and there's no danger to the public. 